General Dynamics Mission Systems, a subsidiary of General Dynamics, revealing more details about the upgrade of Independence Variant Literal Combat Ship LCS, weapon systems. The Independence Variant Literal Combat Ship has achieved another milestone with the latest upgrade to its weapon systems, according to a recent company news release. The USS Gabrielle Giffords crew successfully demonstrated the fully operational Naval Strike Missile NSM, for the first time at Exercise Pacific Griffin 2019. Using the ship's integrated combat system, the crew launched the powerful anti-ship cruise missile at a decommissioned ship. The over-the-horizon Naval Strike Missile System was installed and integrated onto the LCS by a team from General Dynamics Mission Systems and Austal USA. The integration of the Naval Strike Missile System onto the Independence Class LCS was an example of what a small team of highly talented people can do in a very short time. Working closely with the Navy and Austal USA, General Dynamics engineers were responsible for the technical design and integration of the weapon system onto the ship which involved developing software, installing the system, and performing fratricide and other safety analysis, Stan Cordena, Vice President of Surface Systems at General Dynamics Mission Systems. Today was a terrific accomplishment for USS Gabrielle Gifford's crew and the Navy's LCS class. I am very proud of all the teamwork that led to the successful launch of the Naval Strike Missile NSM, said Commander. Matthew Lehman, commanding officer of the USS Gabrielle Giffords in a statement released by the U.S. Navy. The Naval Strike Missile is a new long-range, precision strike weapon that can find and destroy enemy ships at distances up to 100 nautical miles. Produced by Raytheon, the missile skims the surface of the water and is so accurate that LCS crews can pinpoint which part of the enemy ship to destroy using the ship's integrated combat system. Photo by Mass Communication Specialist Kenneth Rodriguez Santiago. As the lead integrator for the Independence Variant LCS Systems, the team of engineers from General Dynamics were responsible for developing software and adapting the ship's combat system to deliver navigation data to the weapon, designing the operational station for sailors in the integrated command center inside the ship's bridge, determining the placement of the missile launcher onto the hull of the vessel, creating a system for providing specialized power, conducting all of the analyses necessary for a safe and effective system. They also worked closely with the Austal USA team which installed the Naval Strike Missile System structures and foundations onto the USS Gabrielle Giffords. This was the first time an integrated Naval Strike Missile was launched on a deployed littoral combat ship. Ed Cook, Director of Surface Ships at General Dynamics Mission Systems, explained how integrating the new missile system presented unique challenges to the team. This is a brand new weapon system being introduced on the LCS, so we were experiencing the first for everything. One of the most challenging aspects was performing the software development and mechanical integration of the weapon because there was no available system to test with and verify our solution. We had to work closely with the missile provider, Raytheon, and use tech manuals that were still in development. We created simulators to reduce integration risks, but the only opportunity to fully verify our solution was aboard the LCS when everything came together for the first time. The Naval Strike Missile System integration had to be completed on a tight deadline because the USS Gabrielle Giffords was scheduled for a deployment which required the new powerful over-the-horizon missile. To meet the short timeline, General Dynamics tapped a diverse team of systems engineers, software engineers, hardware engineers and mechanical engineers from across our pits field. Massachusetts and San Diego, California facilities. The team included various levels of experience, from senior professionals to those with just a few years of experience, and they used an agile approach to complete the project on time. Most importantly, the entire team was committed to delivering the new missile system to the sailors on board LCS-10 quickly and safely. The Naval Strike Missile Integration Project is an example of how our Navy customer and industry can work together closely to quickly make significant improvements and provide game-changing capability to our sailors, said Stan Cordena. We had a high-performing team of engineers working on this project to have diverse skill sets and levels of experience. When they encountered challenges, they always tackled them with a positive attitude and collaborated on the best approach to solve the problem and meet the deadline. Everyone knew it was about the mission. This team completely understood the fact that the Navy needed the USS Gabrielle Giffords to deploy with this weapon system, and they got it done. In addition to the USS Gabrielle Giffords, General Dynamics will serve as the prime contractor for the integration and installation of the Naval Strike Missile System on all Independence Variant LCSS already in service. This is the first of many upgrades the Navy has planned for the LCS in the upcoming years. 
LCS packs a punch and gives potential adversaries another reason to stay awake at night. We are stronger when we sail together with our friends and partners, and LCS is an important addition to the lineup, Rear Admiral Joey Dinch, Commander, US Navy Logistics Group Western Pacific. The Navy has tested its latest anti-ship missile in a sinking exercise off of Guam, the service announced on Tuesday. Literal combat ship USS Gabrielle Giffords, LCS-10, fired a naval strike missile at the ex-USS Ford, FFG-54, as part of a joint sinkex with the Republic of Singapore Navy about 170 nautical miles. Off of the US territory on Monday. Exercise Pacific Griffin was the first sinkex shot for the Navy following a $14.8 million 2018 contract award to the Raytheon Kongsberg team for the first round of missiles for both classes of LCS. The addition of an over-the-horizon anti-surface missile for LCS is a major lethality boost for both versions of the ships that had been optimized for smaller surface threats, like small fast attack. Craft, officials have told Usni News. That's a game-changer for LCS. They still have their mission. They still have their focused mission and all the things that they're going to do in the surface warfare world and in, anti-submarine warfare, and, my countermeasures, Rear Admiral, Casey Matone, the program executive officer for unmanned and small combatants, told Usni News earlier this year. Now, every LCS that's out there can't be ignored. Commander of Naval Surface Forces Vice Admiral Richard Brown told Usni News that the missile aboard the LCS would complicate the way adversaries will have to handle the US Navy. They really just had to figure out where the aircraft carrier was, now in conjunction with everything we're doing, not just in LCS but in the cruisers and destroyers. Any potential adversary has to worry about where all the ships are because of the reach of the weapons systems we're putting on them.